Hello friends, in this video I'm going to discuss from recursion to two point. The problem is minimum sub minimum window substring for giving input S S and T we should return the minimum substring of S contains T. For this example, T is A, B, C, we should return B, A, and C. Because that's the minimum of substring of S contains A, B, C. So, as usual, we start with recurrent brute force. This is our recurrent tree. S is A, B, C, D, E, T is D, B. So we start from with 0 to 4, the whole string of S. We have two options. Option 1, we examine, we remove this, we remove E, so we get this note. Option of two, we remove A. We got this substring. For each substring, we will check whether this substring contain T. So instead of find the minimum, we just check every possible substring if it contains T. That is much easier. So, we will need two map needed and found. For this example, we will build a needed map. The map will be like this. D is 1, B is 1, we build this map by T, which means we need 1 D, 1 B. Then for each substring, for every node of this tree, we will check whether the substring contain, uh, contain T. So for this node, 0 to 4, we will check we found we can find 1d 1b so that's length is 2 so which means from 0 to 4 we should return true then we check 0 to 3 0 to 3 still return true and 1 4 1 4 still return true then we check 0 to 2 here. 0 to 2, we found 0d, 1b. So length is 1, which is less than length of t. So this node will return true, or oh, return false. Here is build map build needed map here is our function to check each time we clear found map which means it, each time we make this to empty then we scan from from L to R we add that into the founded map into the founding map. Here, this case, this case, we are de deal with something like this. For example, we are scan A, B, B. If we scan A, B, B, here we found one B, then because we only need one B, 
when we scan the second B, we don't need this B, so we will not increase this number. Otherwise, we will got wrong answer if we increase this one. We, we will find B, B, this input contains DB, that, that's not true. So this is a brute force solution. The time complexity. This tree has, before we, we talk about time complexity, we can, we can use DFS memorizing to reduce repeated computation like this. When we already know the answer for this one, we don't need compute this subtree here. So the time complexity would be or n square. And each time we clear this map, we scan from start to end. So that's n. So it's n cube. So I'm not going to implement this because n cube is not good enough. Next. First step, as you can see, we don't have to clear this map each, each time. For example, when we move from this node to this node, we just delete the index of 4. Then we move this node to this node, we delete index of 3. Then we go here, we delete index of 2. Then we go to here, we add index of 2 back and delete index of 0. So by using this, we can avoid to, we can eliminate the scan each time from beginning for this map table here. Now we are ready to check our DFS solution with this strategy. I will use a auxiliary structure to keep track each node. For example, when this node returns true, that's not our final answer. We should examine those two sub nodes. When this node returns true, plus both of its subtree return false, false. So that's this one is shorted, shortest. It's the minimum substring BCD. So I will use this to keep track this L, R, meaning um, star and end for each node, L, R. It's empty. I use both L and R equal to minus 1, which means um, represents, for example, this substring will not contain the whole string of T. First step, build needy map, initialize founded map, then call DFS cache, initialize cache, and add or character of S into the founded map, then call DFS cache from 0 to n minus 1. For this example, we from 0 to 4. This is a termination condition here. 
we terminate when the length of node less than length of t that's impossible so return empty minus one minus one and if current number of characters less than t which means we should return false minus one minus one here here if we already know the answer we return it directly now option one we delete we delete l which means we delete left side we compute the sub problem optional two we we add that back we delete right side then we compute sub 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 node sub tray if both sub tray is empty if for example if both is false we return current node otherwise at least we have one is now empty if uh, if this is not empty if this is empty we should return another one if n2 is empty we should return n1 if both are not empty we should return the shortest one then we cache the result we return this one finally here if it's empty we return empty otherwise we return this from sub this is a sub string so the time complexity is what n square because we're using mem memorizing to avoid recomputation this whole subtree dfs we need a auxiliary structure this one to keep track each node it is inconvenience if you take a further look of this recurrent tree you will see we can every time if top down is not better enough you should consider bottom up for example if we do a bottom up bfs traverse this is the first node we are going to examine then this one then we don't have to examine this one because this and this are same then we go to this one then this 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 we already know we go to this one then go to this one go back so we will do a bottom up bfs zigzag traverse like this this is BFS we build need map shift when shift is one which means we go in this way and uh, shift is one we go left initialize with zero R is this one otherwise shift is minus one which means we go in this way so r is this and l is this so this inner loop here will travel one level this in inner loop when we meet the number of characters we found equals length of t we can return this directly so this is better than dfs top down
the time complexity is n square. After this, um, we are going to look at the two-point solution. When we check this node, because the length is less than t, so we, we don't have to remove index of 0. We just keep add, add length of 2 into the index of 2 into the founded map here. So it becomes ABC, still less. So we continue add it into the founded map. So we reach ABCD. Now, that's here. Whenever the length is less than the length of T, we keep adding the right side into the founded map. Finally, we reach A, B, C, D here, and we try to advance left point here. When this loop ended, we examine the length. It's less or equal to min minimum length, so we update the minimum result. Then we advance L and R. So in the worst case, in the worst case, we start L is zero, R is zero. We never back up. We never back up. You will you will not see something like L minus minus or R minus minus here. We never back up. Which means in the worst case, R will reach to N and L reach to N. That's 2 times N is what N. So this is our two-point solution with linear time complexity. This code is much easier to understand than DFS solution. Okay, thank you for watching.